Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is Ball Crazy on the ZX Spectrum. I'm just looking for the case, actually. Um, I'm just going to stick it on the screen a second. So, so the just got the just got the case. Ball Crazy. I remember buying this one. Um, it's actually a puzzle game. It's not a bad puzzle game, actually. Bit tough, probably. Um, I think always, always, always a bit of an example of this is where they got the lives on it. Um, but I quite liked it. I like the cover. I think the cover was quite nice. So, I mean, I should have put that on the screen already. But uh, if I haven't, it'll it'll be there now. Um, so, so um, yeah, it, it's all about basically um, changing the color of the blocks so that you can move up to the next level. It's a kind of yeah, it's a colour changing game. On the Spectrum, that's quite that's quite rare because the Spectrum has a bit of a you know because of its colour clash and its text based system rather than um, it's 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 rather than um, sort of a, a sprite based system. Um, it can be a bit sort of a bit bad. I'm sorry, I'm just messing with the sound here. Um, but you've got different things that jump drop down um, that give you different things like extra lives, extra scores, destroy different shapes, and all this kind of stuff. But we'll press enter and play. So, um, there's our little man. Now, the colour we've got to match is the colour in the centre. You see this little, little thing where it's counting down. Now, that's the countdown to an alien appearing. And he's got me already. Um, that's why I'm saying it's a little bit difficult. And then they've got to move it to here. and got to get blue to finish. There. That moves us up a stage. Even though it's... No, it hasn't yet. Because I've got to get the other one on the other side. Go get this one down here. That's what I'm saying. It's quite tough. I quite like it, though. I think it's... Oh, gosh. Dead. See what I mean, though, about the lives, though? Kind of kind of a giveaway that the game's going to be tough when you've got the lives like that. I've been killed again. Get onto this one. Let's see if we can change it to dark blue. Now, there's little, little icons to drop around that give you um, some, some bonuses, but... Uh, that's the next level. That's excellent. Now, we've got to make them all uh, the, the, the magenta or the pink. That's what we've got to do. Problem with the computer is I can see it, see it's how it's bouncing around in that section over there. It's probably going to get itself stuck in there. That's what it's tendency to do. Shoot! Got bullets you can shoot upwards only. Um, much, uh, quite difficult really to, to uh, no. I've got him, and I've got a hat now, which I think gives me a crap. One, they can hit me once, and then um, I will be. Do it. You can also hold your position with the the L key, which allows you to sort of stay still or stay down, as it's called. Um, watching the time. Watching the time. I moved before he got to me. It is, uh, but to be fair, the the movement of the, the the bad guys is just movement. At the end of the day, it's nothing. There's nothing clever about their movement. They just they just move. Around the level. I want to be off there before the one, and I've just left myself to get killed again. It's pretty tough. This is one of the Mastertronics, though, um, added dimension games. So this is one they felt was a. I think they charged more for this. I'm sure this was like a two ninety nine game, um, which is kind of a, a you know a, a huge leap from that original one ninety nine. It's like fifty percent more. So it was added dimension was fifty percent more money in their pocket. I think. Right, gotta go over here. Damn it! Should have stayed put. It's all right. We're gonna bounce on this one. We're gonna do it. See if we can get the first level clear. Go the other way. Knew he's gonna go that way. There, get shot. No, not shot. Stay over there. Stay over there. I've got my helmet on. Be alright for one hit. Yes, finished level. As I say, quite a simple game. Really quite enjoyable to play. Um, I, I quite liked it anyway. I think it's good. Yeah, I'm invincible with my helmet on. Yeah. Nice. I, I you know, some I like good uh, in sense of uh, um, different puzzle games. I think that they're, they're, they're really good. I'm gonna go this way. Try to outrun him there. Ah! And push the button, he goes through it, and I've lost a lot of lives. So, um, we'll have another go at that. It's quite fun, though, isn't it? I mean, it's quite a simple game, but but I think it's quite fun. I quite enjoy it. Because it's kind of... It, it, it's different. There's a bit of skill involved, though, definitely. There's definitely a bit of, bit of learn, a little bit of practice involved to get the, the thing right. Right, okay. He's gone that way. That's good. And he's coming my way. 
Missile, missed him. He's going that way. Let's just you just keep going that way. Bouncing off the edge. I've got my helmet. We're all good. So we can get up there. Um Doesn't matter. Just you just bounce over there. You keep yourself away from me. I think we're gonna get the first level up. There we go. Getting a bit of practice, aren't I? So it's getting getting better at it. I was out, you know, so I was, I was I remembered the cover, but I didn't remember the game particularly. And when I first sort of loaded it, I went, "Oh, it's not an isometric, is it?" I remember the cover, and 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 then once I got into it, I was like, "Yeah, I remember this game. I remember how it plays." Not sure how the colours correspond to the thing. I'm running short of bullets. I need some more bullets. The bullets drop from the skies. Oh, I got caught. I wondered. The computer's a bit naughty. It kind of sometimes starts itself off going the direction you are. Which is a bit of a... Which is a bit of a nightmare. Holding yourself down, though, allows you to kind of stay in put without changing the colour of it, bouncing on it again. Because the bouncing and that impact that does it, but if you press the hold down button, which is to sort of sit on the in, in stationary position... Um, Ah, I knew you were going to get me. Kind of allows you to jump without changing the things. So, ah, I knew you were going to do that. I'm going to go here and do the middle one. I've got my hat on. We're okay. I've gone through the colours though, accidentally. Ah, got me. I think they could have got away with, I mean if I have any criticism of the game itself, I think they could have got away with, very fairly, a reduction in the size of the enemies that are attacking you. I think if they were slightly smaller, um, and more sort of debris-like, I don't know, that's just random sort of spectrum things, you know, that kind of, that's the sort of, sort of rolling whatever that is, um, very kind of specky of the time but i think he could have probably got away with if i'm if i'm honest a a more sort of um a slightly smaller enemy would have been easier to 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 play against i think is the answer what i'm, I'm trying to say i think i held my position there so that it wasn't in the way held my position there so i didn't change that one there we go. No! Hold my position. Alright, I'm going to jump on this one. There is, a, there is a tactic to it. There's definitely a tactic to avoiding it, but it's very easy at the early stages in comparison there's a lot when there's lots of space. That's, that's a lot easier than later when there's less space. Um, which obviously makes sense, doesn't it, really? Um, that's kind of obvious door. <laughs> Quite like this one. Nothing like a good puzzle game. Ah! Wasn't watching there. That was that was me being stupid. I want to move from where I am because they all seem to come out at an angle. These things. So what's an interesting idea, though? I wonder whether they developed this first for some for another another another. Another machine, um, maybe the Commodore 64 or, or the, even the Amstrad, um, because it seems an odd uh, selection of a sort of, you know, on a colour clash thing. However, they have created it so it doesn't fit the, so the spaces aren't a problem. Go for it. You come in my way. Yeah, but that's fine, I've made it. I think you're going that way. Yeah, go that. Ah, oh, sugar! Should have seen that coming. Got to anticipate the the the, the movement. I oh, anticipated that. I knew that was coming. Always do that, don't you? Uh oh, I got my hat on. We're okay. We're good. Let's see if we can get up another level. 
Yes, down to the cyans just to anticipate this. Okay for the moment. Uh oh, here he comes. Ah, he's got me. Good fun, this actually. I I'm reckon I'm going to recommend this one. It's a good one, worth having. Ball crazy, it's called. Quite a lot of fun to be had from this one. It's uh, it's just it. It's no good if you if. You... Ah. No. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I've got loads of bullets as well. Oh no, I've got my helmet on. I forgot I've got my helmet on. Get off. Yes! Got him with the bullet. No! I just jumped into him. Ah! Idiot. Got it though. Next level. Hey, we've got doing really well. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be a lot easier. This one. Look, we've got lots of space on this. No, more enemies! No! Nowhere to go! I don't think I've picked up one of those dicks yet. No, damn. Oh, that was good though. Did you see that? It's a great game. Lots of fun to be had there. Yeah, Ball Crazy, definitely worth picking up. Um, it'll probably be quite cheap, actually. I don't think it's one of the more expensive games that people have got. But it's definitely worth your time. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Team, and thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.